Hi Capricorn, welcome to your general reading for October. This is Mary and Celia Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, returning. Thank you so much for coming back. Please do check the description box below for all the information you need. Tons and tons of stuff there, so please do go check that out. Thank you to everybody for all your support. Thank you, thank you. It really means a lot to me in helping the channel grow and flourish and being a part of that. And getting the messages out to the people that need to hear them. So thank you, thank you so much. Um, this may or may not resonate for you, so please keep that in mind. And uh, I guess we'll just get started here. And if you do like the way I read, please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love to read the comments. And if you subscribe, hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do four readings a month, different types of readings, so don't miss out on that. If any time any of these readings don't resonate for you, you can uh, check the description box below for past playlists. Maybe something there resonate for you. I say disregard the titles. I do cons uh, dates. I do consider them all timeless. I would say watch it anyway. So let's see what we have for Capricorn for the first half. Well, I keep saying the first half because I've added two more readings. So I do four totally different readings per month now. So this is just one general now for October instead of two for October. I hope everybody's doing well coming into the fall season. Happy early Halloween. Alrighty, Capricorn. What do we have for Capricorn for October? General reading. I will read it as a general reading, but if you could fit it into any type of situation in your life, please do so. It, whether it be a love relationship or something like that. I just did your love reading. So this is general. So it could be anything. All right. The Capricorn. October. See what we get here. If you don't resonate with what comes out here. That is totally fine. Well, I had two that flipped out, so I don't know if this means anything to anybody, but I have Cancer and I have Neptune, and um, Neptune is Pisces. So I think I'm going to keep, so that may be just a message for some Cancer, but I think I'm going to keep the energy of Neptune here, and um, Neptune here speaks of, let me get that in the camera right, imagination, compassion, psychic experiences, and balancing. So you see the moon behind there. So hmm. so I mean, you could be dealing with the Pisces or it could just be the energy of Neptune. So there could be, you know, something with your imagination, wanting to start some sort of new project, endeavor, or something like that. Um, compassion, I don't know that what that could mean, healing a situation maybe, and finding um, compromise and balance in that. Or it could be psychic experiences. So I don't know, we'll see what we get here. So what do we have for Capricorn for October? What do we have for Capricorn for October? Capricorn for October. Please Spirit, thank you so much. What do we have for Capricorn for October? And we have Yang energy, which is masculine energy, and that is number one. This is the first card in the deck. So masculine energy here, Yang. So let me just read a little bit about that. Um, see if there's a message in here. The masculine principle of movement and creative activity, the power to make things happen, taking action. So, yeah, taking action, it's something, and it may be with a, um, something with your imagination, some sort of creative idea that you have. Let's see what's on the top of the deck here. Message in a bottle. So this is 15. So there's some sort of message that may come into you about uh, something here that you're wanting to start that may spark your imagination. So let's see what this says. Communication, a sign, a cledon, an ancient name for a spontaneous oracle delivered innocently by the speaker, pointing the way to your highest good. So it's about communications and sign. That could be the psychic experiences. Maybe you've had some sort of like premonition or like a flash in your mind about something. And it sort of was like a psychic experience that 
makes you now because one's about a new beginning so has like a fiery passionate energy of going after a new beginning after some sort of thought or flash in your mind or psychic experience really um sent you a message and now it's like you you want to go forward with this <laughs> and look at that at the bottom of the dis uh, uh bottom of the deck we have go the distance number 47 so i think whatever here that you're going to do here you're going to see it full through to yet through see it through till the end you will go the distance here and taking that action wow all right so capricorn capricorn so masculine energy but i mean you can be a female and have a uh, masculine energy so it's just energy doesn't mean you have to be a physical man um, there's some men that are very feminine there's some females that are very masculine so it's just energy all right so let's see what's going on with Capricorn all the decks are listed below also if you're interested in that Capricorn what's going on with Capricorn for October let's get your energy see what's going on for you so we have the page of rods and that's sort of like the same thing here about this message in a bottle very passionate exciting new sort of um, opportunity message that comes in or you um, put out there so that kind of um, clarifies that so something very passionate exciting here uh, offer message coming in going out something like that so you have the nine of swords here so there's some stress anxiety fear and worry air energy fire energy there now we have aries with the tower some sort of explosive energy here um it could be a surprise also it can be a breakdown shakedown explosive energy or it can be a surprise here so something some sort of tower moment here brought in some kind of stress but you're in an energy also of um some sort of exciting communication or offer so now you have the four of swords and the ace of pent okay so and here's the offer coming in ace of pentacles divinely guided something divinely guided for you and it could have been divine source here sending you a telepathic spiritual message of some kind um to kickstart this idea in your mind that you had some sort of psychic experience like something came into your head that you would never thought of or something like that and you're like where did this come from it was divine energy sending you this message in your mind in your thoughts and your higher knowing even in your dreams you know take take this route go this way this will bring you success abundance stability and build on a firm foundation moving forward and and i had just well i had just said sleep and it just dawned on me that we have the four swords here which is taking a respite this is about thinking contemplating resting healing so you actually could have been sleeping when divine sent you this like dream or something something you would have never thought of but something you're like i can do that i sh can do that and now you're moving forwardly forward you're going the distance wow so you know it could course also be this divine energy also with the page of rods so I don't know if you experienced uh, some sort of ending here or explosive something that happened that caused you stress and you're like, okay, what do I do now? But now you have one new beginning, ace new beginning of pentacles. I almost feel like it came to you in a dream, like this message came to you in a dream. And it was like a big shock to you like it was like clear as day i don't know i feel like you felt bound to something before 
But now this is could be you like freeing yourself from that energy. And now you're having a new beginning. Wow. You're taking that action. The Ace of Pentacles. So brand new, secure, abundant growth, expansion. Divinely gifted to you. So let's see what your actual situation is now. What is your actual situation? The world. That's your energy. The Two of Cups. And now you have the Ace of Wands. So you have... Wow. So you have the Yang, which is one. Ones are new beginnings. The Ace of Pentacles, new beginnings. Now you have the Ace of Rods, new beginning here. Passionate, fiery, exciting, new endeavor, project, a new career, opportunity. And now you have the world. So I definitely feel like world's closing out a cycle and a new cycle starting. So I definitely feel like here... You closed out some sort of cycle that you felt bound to. It might have been some sort of explosive ending with the tower there. It could have been like a fight or something or, you know, maybe your boss, you had a big disagreement and maybe you said things you shouldn't have said. And, but, you know, now you're starting a new chapter for yourself with the world energy and that is your energy to a cup. So you definitely, um, you know, does speak of unity and there's the train <laughs> confirming spirits like oh, yep confirming so now you have the two of cups uh energy here so this is about unity people coming together so maybe you know you might even go into partnership with somebody are you working for yourself or this again could have been the divine energy coming into you and giving you and showing you um this opportunity that would work best for you because you have two divine energies here handing you this golden opportunity and this very exciting opportunity. Wow. Wow. Okay. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. All right. So let's get, um, let's get advice for you. Let's get advice for you. Advice for you. Capricorn. The hanged man, but it's in reverse. Okay, I didn't know I had reversals in here, but I guess I do. In the page of pentacles, so your advice here is not to slack. <laughs> the hangman's in reverse. Oh, no, he's not in reversed. He's not in reversed. I'm sorry, it looked like it. So, this is about you know, kind of seeing things from all angles. Uh, all perspectives, hanging back, Cancer Pisces again, which Neptune is Pisces. So, and then you have the Page of Pentacles here, which again, and then you have the Page of Rods. So this is a lot of uh, communication, offers something solid, stable energy. I mean, you could have had this like epiphany in a dream or something like that, and maybe you're approaching somebody about, hey, let's do this, because you have two different energies here. You have Earth, which is your energy, uh, Page of Pentacles, and then you have the fire up here, which is Leo Sag Aries. So there could be somebody else, and that's the Two of Cups right in the middle of your spread, that maybe you want to go into together in this, and um, this is you extending out the offer. So your advice is to, you know, take your time, think about all things, reflect on all things, and then make that offer when you are ready to the right person. Don't rush. Think it thorough. Think it through thoroughly. And, and maybe you have a few people in mind. So you know you need to think things thoroughly with the hangman energy there. And then you make that offer at the right time when it's right for you to the right person because you've got the two of cups here. Someone you can trust that will be loyal that can be compassionate, that will um, believe what you believe in, will work as hard as you, um, and that sort of energy. So I don't feel comfortable taking that. Okay, so let's get... Oh, I missed clarifiers somewhere. All right, for your actual situation. All right, so these would be... I'm going to add these to your actual situation. So... Yeah, I think you will be, um, you probably are doing that now. You know, you're starting a new cycle. You're thinking long and hard about who 
you want to proceed with in this new beginning and making that offer. All right, so, all right, I guess that'll be your advice. So we have the Six of Pentacles, and we did. I did say here that Neptune was about balance, so here's the balance, your energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Very balanced, balanced energy here. Three of Cups. So, again, I had just said that maybe you have more than one person in mind about moving forward with. So maybe you have two other people in mind, or possibly even three. But these are people that you maybe love dearly, um, that you can trust, that you, um, you know, can have also good times with, celebrate with, that will be loyal, trustworthy, honest, dependable, balanced, but you're going to have to make a decision if you only want to go forward with one, which one will you choose? So I think you're going to reflect on that and really take your time before you extend out that offer. Because you really want this to go the distance, whatever it is for you moving forward. All right, so let's get more for your advice. The Eight of Pentacles, working hard. One more. And the Knight of Swords. So, so this is working hard, Eight of Pentacles, mastering your craft. So you will be studying, working, doing everything you need to do here, working very hard to go the distance over here. And then you have the Knight of Swords. So the Knight of Swords kind of rushes in. I mean, this I think is going to be you just, I think you're going to take your time deciding if you are, for some of you, going forward with like a partner or um, like a business partner or somebody to help you along the way moving forward. But also I think you want to move forward very quickly because you see this um, Jaguar or Cougar or something like rushing ahead in the Knight of Swords energy usually also rushes ahead quickly. So very fast action. Be careful of your actions because sometimes this knight can be reckless. So be sure because I'm placing it right under the page of pentacles. So watch your energy that you don't become reckless and um, that kind of energy. Just take your time with the eight of pentacles. Pentacles are very slow moving energy. Take your time. <laughs> Mastering your craft, working hard, diligently, you know, balanced, making a decision. Who do I choose? That will balance out equally with me moving forward. Or maybe for some of you, it's a group of you, like three or four of you going into this new adventure together. All right, so let's see the possible outcome for Capricorn. Possible outcome for Capricorn. Strength. So Leo energy. So being strong, courageous, and brave. <clears throat> Having willpower, stamina. Uh, taming the beast from within as much as you may want to rush, rush, rush. This is taming that beast, taking your time and having that strength and endurance to keep moving forward. That fiery, passionate energy. So let's get two more for your outcome. Seven of one. So being defensive and um, just standing up for yourself. Not backing down, you you know, you're going to stand up for what you believe in. And then that's fire energy. So now we have um, the Fool, which is Aquarius. So this is taking a leap of faith. So here you are taking a leap of faith, the possible outcome. Starting, reset, resetting, restarting at zero. Trusting everything will be fine. And jumping right in and taking this leap of faith in this, whatever it is for you. All right, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. We have the Seven of Swords. So this can speak of like lies, deceit, you know, untrusted energy, trickery, hmm, air energy here. So I know maybe something happened in the past because you did have the Tower and the Nine of Swords. Maybe somebody deceived you in some way that caused that Tower moment, caused you to be stressed out. You know, maybe there were apologies here with the Page of Cups. You know, maybe things were mended 
in that situation. Yeah, so there's a heartache and pain somebody caused you because of lies and deceit, trickery. But I guess, you know, apologies happened. But this is making plans, decisions, uh, moving forward in a new direction. So you decided even though there were apologies, things were kind of mended, you know, I'm making plans, decisions here for the future because I'm ending this situation. I've had enough of all this backstabbing energy, air energy here. It's done. 10 completion, done, over, no more backstabbing. <laughs> Two tens in a row. So burdensome energy, too much work, overload, too much stabbing in the back. Done. I'm just done. Ten of Pentacles now. So uh, I think you will. And then the Ten of Cups. So by leaving that situation and moving on and releasing those burdens and that backstabbing, painful, deceitful, heartbreaking energy, now moving forward, you will have Ten of Pentacles and Ten of Cup energy total abundance in the future and happy home and family happiness and joy in every single way moving forward yep happy home stable home life celebrations being and there you are as the emperor being in control in charge ruling owning your own business or owning your own destiny here the emperor energy sailing into calmer waters a better place Yep, taking charge, stability in the home, Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, happiness, fulfillment, stability. After you released this energy of burning and backstabbing, making plans for your future. You know, apologies mended the situation of the heartbreak and deceit, but you decided to move on from that. Wow. So let's get... Uh, Capricorn. Wow, good for you. Good luck to you. If this is resonating for you, again, this may not resonate for everybody, so please keep that in mind. I ask if this doesn't resonate, that you don't unsubscribe, that you just hold out. Uh, future readings may resonate for you. Not every single reading is for every single person. All right, so Capricorn. Let's get some extra messages for Capricorn. Extra messages for Capricorn. Be true to you. So I definitely feel like here, is that blurry? Definitely being true to yourself, true to you, who you are, what you're doing, moving forward. Um, and just being true to who you are and what you're doing and what you want. End of an era, exactly. So it could have been that you were at wherever you were there for a very long time. Era can be, you know, a long time. But now, you know, it's like it's the end of that era. On to the new. On to the new. Healing from the past. Again, with all those tens there, the ten of wands, this lies, deceit, trickery. You know, po apologies happened. There, were, there was healing. You did have the four of swords um, here. So, you know, healing from that. All right. So what else? Okay, so <laughs> self-employment. So I couldn't have said it any better. Yep, self-employment. So I do feel like some of you are going into entrepreneurship in some way. And then you are stronger than you know on the bottom of the deck. Clarifying strength. So, and then you have windfall under that. And you did have the Ten of Pentacles that came out also. So I definitely see... Uh, and then welcome the new, welcoming end of an era and welcome in the new windfall, self-employment, healing the past. You're stronger than you know. Wow. Okay. So all right, Capricorn, good luck to you in your situation here. If this resonates for you, um, I, I see a very positive outcome. Keep moving forward. So I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.